Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother Wawramya. We're back with another lesson, Lord willing. It'll be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahawrakakwadash, Barakathi Yahweh, Barakathi Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the 144,000 men of the Lord. You see on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall of Babylon, the great in the correct name of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, also in the correct doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. And I also want to say Shalom to the hundred, the one, the one third men, women, and children that will escape the judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha through their faith. Uh, as you see on the screen, he said gun control was created to stop black people from defending themselves, man. And I mean, that's not a blessing to have a, 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 a weapon. And that's Esau's blessing. But they, they, they always use every legislation, every uh, everything pretty much against us. And, and you, you see that they always treated us as less than nothing. But that day is coming to an end where he is treating us as less than nothing. Gun control is racist. Why is gun control racist? It was literally started to literally stop black people from having the means to defend themselves. That's true. Some colonies passed special rules that banned gun ownership by black people. Before the Civil War, Tennessee changed its constitution to say only free white men have a right to bear arms. Virginia declared it illegal for free blacks to carry any firelock. All gun control is racist. Later, when local governments wouldn't protect black people, many took up arms to protect themselves. There was less lynching where blacks owned guns. Ain't doing it to black communities that's armed. Toure says gun control is still racist. It's still racist now? Absolutely. Let's take the state of California. If you live in Oakland, if you live in Compton, the chances of you getting a license to carry, even though the Second Amendment is clear, right, is very little. But if you live in Brentwood, if you live in Orange County, if you live in Beverly Hills, the uh, issue rate for that license to carry goes up. In addition... Who's arrested more for firearms possession? Not robbery, not rape, not homicide, black and brown folks. The narrative that anyone with a firearm is a bad guy is a pervasive theme, especially if you are in an urban environment and if you happen to be black. And that's, and that's the reason why so many black, so-called black jakes are getting killed for having weapons, man. Because they, they, they have demonized us to seem like we are the, the face of crime. We are the face of anything stems, that stems from being bad. Now check this out, it says, Texas man sentenced to 40 years in prison for killing his friend by shooting him in the back 11 times during a sleepover. Now, they don't this look like the face of crime, man? They've always been known to have mass murders, um, uh, where well, they usually go in schools and shoot up the place. This, they, they, they are the face of crime, but they put us and demonize us through their, their media, social media, and made the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American man the face of crime. Now, this is a video that's been going viral here lately. A New York State Supreme Court justice suspended after threatening black teens. And this is the pride of Esau Edo, man, because they feel like we are less than nothing. And we are, are not um, on a level as they are or or um, to be even even compared to them. man. They feel like they're on a level way higher than us that we would never reach, man. That's how they feel. That's how they present themselves. But it's soon to, to come to an end, the Esau's reign, man. And he, had, and he she... They do not have a clue that it's going to happen to them. And their kingdom is spiraling out of control, man. It's spiraling, it's circling the drain. New video just released capturing state Supreme Court Justice Aaron Gall threatening to shoot a group of black teenagers. They'll be shot on the property. Well, I'm just letting you know that that's because the best case when they scenario. trespass, you can shoot them on the property. They just come here and just no, 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 I'm just saying. Oh, shoot them on the property. No, every, no. The judge was at a high school graduation party at her friend's house when authorities say there was an argument between invited and uninvited guests. A group of black teenagers who received a text invite to the party with the address 
extras that arrived, and a fight broke out shortly after. During the scuffle, the teens lost the keys to their car and couldn't leave the neighborhood, appearing to upset Gall, who wanted the children to leave, but refused to turn over their car keys if she found them. Five law enforcement agencies arrived on the scene during the more than hour-long ordeal, during which the New York State Commission on Judicial Conduct said the judge repeatedly invoked her judicial office. Threatened gun violence. If I have to clear it out, I will. And both criticized and pledged favor treatment for the police. The good part is, I'm always on your side. You know I'd take anyone down for you guys. You know that. You know that. You know I am on your side. Video also captures the judge making comments about the black teen's intelligence levels. They don't look like they're that smart. And praising her son for beating up partygoers, among other comments. Hey, he put a smackdown once he got hit. I didn't say it was one sided. The commission now calling for the judge to be removed from the bench. The commission administrator telling CBS 6 it is utterly unacceptable for a judge to threaten gun violence, exhibit racial prejudice, promise favorable treatment for the police, or disparage a law intended to keep guns away from dangerous people. Any one of these things would undermine public public confidence in the administration of justice. That all this and more was committed by one judge disqualifies her from further service on the bench. And that's what we have had to deal with for many, many years, man. The prejudice, the, 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 um, the, the system that has been biased to, from the beginning, man, for, uh, for us, man. And we had to suffer it, man, because we we had we was under the curses. But the time is coming, man. The time of Esau's reign is coming to an end. This is also going viral, as you you know. Sonia Massey was shot, um, and I'm gonna play a little bit of it. And um, I mean, pretty much everybody has seen it, or if not heard about it. But uh. Matter of fact, I'm not going to even play this video because we already know what happened. I'm going to play this video. Yeah, they won't want to play. See how they work. Damn. Let me see if I can get it to come back up. All right. There we go. Let's see if it'll play. But let me hear the scripture. Let me hear the scripture while I get that to come up. This is Psalms. Psalms 37. The King James Version. Starting verse 8, it says, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. And that's what the Lord is telling us, man. The men of the Lord. Because Esau is, is, is going to play on Jake's emotion, man. The scriptures tell you with Genesis 49, who would rouse him up? And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to rouse Jake up. And you know it's an election year, man. Every time every time somebody dies, a so-called Jake dies, it's an election year, man. So they can play on the, the, the mindset and the, the, the emotions of Jake, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And these things, man, when you see death like this, it does get, it plays on your, it plays on your emotions, man. It makes you want to do something. It makes you want to get out there and, and be a, a participant in it. But the Lord telling us, man, be patient, man. That Their time is coming. It says, for evildoers shall be cut off. See that? They're going to be cut off. But those that wait upon you, how about Shem they shall inherit the earth. See, the Lord wants us to, 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 to be patient, man. Wait on him, man. Don't go out there and, and be carnal. Because they're going to go down, man. Verse 10, it says, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. See that? In just a little while, they're going to be done, man. Yea, thou, thou shalt uh, diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. See that? We're going to see this man, and then all of a sudden, he's not going to be in power, rulership at all, man. He's going to be under us, man, until he's exterminated. 
He says, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight him themselves in the abundance of peace, man. So when Esau goes down, we're going to receive peace, man. No more hard labor, no more hard um, pains and, and mindset of being a, a captive and being chased and having a police behind you and worrying about, <laughs> am I going to live or, or die? Worrying about eating this food, if you're going to get a major disease. This man is going to be soon taken out of power, man. And we're going to have the abundance of peace. Verse 12, it says, The wicked plotteth against the just and gnash upon him with his teeth, man. And that's what Esau continually, continuously does. Plots against us, man, to kill us. Yahweh Shem Yahweh shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. See that? The Lord see this man is done, man. And we have to see it as well. We have to see that this man is finished. His time is running out, man. But his pride is not going to let him see it. But we can see it, man. That's why the Lord said, wait upon him, man. Don't go and try to do nothing carnal because this man is the devil, man. Now, check this out. He, he goes a little deep in, into to the events that happened uh, of this uh, lady, Sonia Massey. Damn it, I got so much proof that they unalived Sonia Massey on purpose. This is her four-year-old cousin. The cops just unalived him, and I don't like it. Relax, I'm about to tell you what I think happened and tell you about her, his, her four-year-old cousin, what he went through. Illinois State Police unalived two people, including a four-year-old boy, while responding to a domestic violence call. June 7, 2024. And of course, the police have a great story of why they unalive this boy, but check this out. Now, word on the street is get Grayson, the, the monster that did this to Sonya uh, Massey, his girlfriend worked at the mental place where Sonya was at. And allegedly, his father-in-law is the chief of police. Now, I believe Grayson's girl got into it or somehow had a problem with Sonya and Grayson plotted to come do this. If you remember my other video, I said he was the one in the backyard. So let's, well, I'm gonna I'm play out this evidence and play out the scenario and I watch this. He's at the backyard banging because he wants her to call the police or he wants her to come out there so he could unalive her or something. This was already planned out. It sounds like somebody was banging on the side of my house. I don't know, could y'all come and see? And somebody got the address for me? It is 2868 South Sandra Avenue. What is your name? Sonia Massey. <laughs> I guess I remember. Uh, I don't know the number by heart, but I know that somebody's outside my house right now. Okay, have you seen the person? Not for her, but Deputy Sheriff White, yeah, okay. Okay, came in as a prowler. She heard someone outside her house. I actually took the call and tried to ask her further, and she hung up on me. Um, they're now saying self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. So you see they tried to say self-inflicted because they didn't count on the body cam and all this evidence coming out and everything going viral. But now, now that he's got her to call the police, he comes so fast, she don't even have a chance to get dressed or anything. He's right there with the backup, and he asks her about her mental, and how would he know anything about her mental unless he know he had previous information on it? The body camera video reveals the events leading up to the horrific scene. Thank you so much. Here's the door. Oh, I was trying to put some clothes there. I'm sorry. You doing all right, mentally? Yes. Sure. I made this thing step. All right. Okay. I love you. I love you. Inside the home, saying. He don't even have the demeanor of somebody who's coming to help her. He has a demeanor like he's on trash. Asking her what, what took her so long to come to the door. You're supposed to be helping her. Then once in a house, isn't it ironic that he's the one that asked her to go over to the stove and turn the stove or check on the stove, whatever, when that was not that serious, it, it, nothing was going to burn down at no fucking two, at that time. He could have just left, but he wanted, he plotted it out. Then when she went over there, he's actually walking towards where she's at. And she's like, well, what, what are you doing? I'm getting away from the water. Well, how are you getting away from the water, but you walking towards her? Then you don't render aid. He planned that out. I'm going to go get my kid. Get my kid. Yeah, sure, yeah, you go get it, but that's a headshot. 
Yeah. <clears throat> and man, that I mean that's plain, man. First thing he asked was about her her mindset when he when he came to the door. You okay mentally? So how the hell he even know any information about her, man? So it's 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 all been plotted, man. He plotted against her, which I believe that he was the one knocking on the side of the uh, her house. It only makes sense, man. And it played out the way it did. Now I got this video too. It goes. She's gonna go a little deeper into. Um, how is this so coincidence? How big of a coincidence this is? And it's an election year. I see dead people. You know I can't play the music, but you see Sandra Bland, and Sandra Bland is and uh, Sonya Massey. They was uh, both what Sandra Bland was thirty seven. She was thirty six. Born in February, she was born in 1978. I mean, since 1987, she was born in 1988. Both from Illinois. So this is this is all sub subliminal, but it, it's kind of looking like you just right here starting to think these are ritualistic, and it might be. And you you just kind of gotta contemplate these things and think about think upon them, man, because we don't really know for sure. And uh, she's playing the music in the background. That's why I, why I can't play the video until she starts speaking. And I'm a. You can pause and read it. They look like twins. They look like twins. One. For the summit all up. They look like twins. One was 37, one was 36. Both born in Illinois. Both. Unalived in Texas, both born in February, and both died in July. Uh, uh, oh. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And both by the hand of a police officer? That's a little, and both of their names start with? A S? Sonia? Sandra? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. So you see it, man. A lot of, a lot of like she said, uh, ritualistic shit, man, going on, man. And this is all to play on the minds of our people, man, to rouse them up because the elite, they want civil unrest. They want total chaos. They want... <laughs> All out chaos, man. War. And speaking of a civil war, man. That's what they're looking for. This is what they're plotting. Fight! Fight! We got time. Come on. Hey, we are in the fight for the soul of our nation. We are in a fight for our kids and our grandkids. A fight that we can never imagine. I believe wholeheartedly... Donald Trump and Butler County's J.D. Vance are the last chance to save our country politically. I'm afraid if we lose this one, it's going to take a civil war to save the country, and it will be saved. It's the greatest experiment in the history of mankind. And if we come down to a civil war, I'm glad we got people like uh, Schmidt and the Bikers for Trump on our side. So he's, he outright said that he's calling for a civil war, man. And the civil war he's calling for is not for no uh, white on white, man. They want you jakes, man. And we warned you. This is what they're coming. This is what they're playing on, man. The emotions of our people, man, because they know how to rise you up. And this is what they're, they're, they're trying to get people to, uh, to, to get stirred up, man, to go against each other. And this is all... A plot and to see if our people will fall into the trap, man. We just read the scripture said the wicked plotteth against the just. This is Proverbs 12. And I'm gonna drop down to verse 13. It says, The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. See, they're, they're thinking, well, we're gonna bring in a, 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 um, a, a what you call it, a, a um, civil war, which is a race war, gender war. <laughs> Class war, 
This, this is their plans, man. It says, the wicked desire the net of the evil man, but the root of the righteous yield fruit. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. This is what they call for, man. They're in a trap that they're presenting with their own mouths, man. They're, they're finna lose, man, and they're finna lose big time. He says, but the just shall come out of trouble. See that? The elect is gonna come out of this trouble that Esau is stirring up on the earth. So you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, that's the reason why we're doing this lesson, man. It's like doing this lesson. Doing these lessons to get our people to realize the, the wiles of the devil, man, the traps of the devil, man. He wants you to, to fall into his trap so he can destroy you, man. 14, it says, a man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his, of his mouth. And that's the reason why we push these lessons out, man, because what we're doing is to save our own people, man. We can care less about Esau, Edom, and the other nations. And you have to have that mindset because their kingdom is going to go down. And the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. See that? These Edomites are fools, man. They're bringing, this, they're bringing in a, a, a civil war to take down their own kingdom, man. This is it for them. They're going to be drugged into World War III, which you've seen uh, the small hatter, Ned, not a Jew, came to uh, Babylon the Great to get him to, to get Babylon to back him, man. And the scriptures tell you that the least of the flock should draw them out. And you're seeing it play out right before your eyes, man. They're going to cause a race, a, a race war, class war, civil war here in Babylon the Great to finish off their kingdom, man. And then they're going to be drugged into World War III to be utterly wasted. For the, for the kingdom to be utterly wasted, man. It says the way of, of a fool is right in his own eyes. And see, that's that, the, the elite are plotting this. This is their plan. But he that hearken unto counsel is wise. See that? If you hearken unto the men of the Lord, you're going to be wise in that day. Because the Lord is going to exempt you from the judgments that is going to come up on the earth, man. Drop down to verse 21. It says, I'm drawing, uh, I should have down there, wrote it, read it all. But I'm just make, hang on. I'm going to start at verse 20. Well, it's 19. It says, the lip of the lip of truth shall be established forever. See that? What we're telling you is going to be established forever. The kingdom of heaven. You Israelites are going to rule forever over your, your oppressors, man. But the lying tongue is but for a moment. See that? Their kingdom is only but for a moment, man. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. See that? Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, man. And Esau is imagining evil, man. He told you they, they want to, to bring in a, a, a civil war. This is what his imagination is. This is what they're plotting to do. As they, you know what I'm saying, kill our people and, 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 and have no... <laughs> They usually don't even get per, uh, prosecuted, but they now they're prosecuting the people just to to um, stir up both sides, man. Especially during election years, man. And um, uh, Kamala Harris and Biden both spoke about this, and they, he killed her in cold blood, man. And his his was his father-in-law. His father is uh, one of the sheriffs or something. Man. I, I think that's what he said. As a sheriff or a deputy or something like, like that, but he is over everything, man. So even if he get put in jail, they're going to go, he going to go right back out the back door. But this is the way they can stir up people, man. They want to stir up the people, man. This side against this side, that side against that side. This is Esau's playbook, man. They've been playing, they've been using the same playbook forever. It says, 20, it says, deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. But to the counselors of peace is joy, man. See, we know that this man is going down, man. It's joy unto us because we know that he is going to bring his own kingdom down. There shall no evil happen to the just. See, that, and that's the reason why we want you to, to wake up to this truth, man. There's no evil going to happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. See that if you 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 adapt to Esau, 
and, and, and give in to his his um his plans and his traps, you're gonna be judged, man. Lying lips are an abomination to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but they that do, they that deal truly are his delight, man. And that's what we want to do, man. Be his delight. Bringing in the understanding to our people of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. The Lord is going to judge Babylon the Great, man, and especially the Edomites. This is their time to have have their fun, to have their have their time in the their time in the sun, because they're soon to be going. They soon are going to go down, man, and never rise again. Galatians six, just get the point in verse seven. It says, "Be not deceived; power is not mocked." So they're killing our people, man. They're they mocking the Lord, man. Like the Lord is not going to move on, on behalf of his people, man. And see, the, the, the two-thirds, they don't, they don't know that they're Israelites, man. They don't know their representation. They don't know their uh, Yasharala, their representation of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. See, the Lord is not going to be mocked, man. He says, but be not deceived, power is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. So he didn't, he didn't, he pursued us with the sword and he's going to be pursued with judgment. He's going to be pursued and his blood is going to be spilled for love and to spill ours. So this, this, his time is, is coming to an end where he will live in fear. He will not be defended. He will not be protected in his, in his life will lay in our, in the balance that we have, man. In the name and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, he will fear us. And he will wake up in, in fear every morning, man. Will he be judged? Will he die? Will his kids live? Will they die? Will his wife live? Will, he, will she die? Will, she, will, will, you, will, he, will they be, be able to eat? Will they be able to drink? This is how they, the fear that they're going to have. The Lord being up over them. Knowing the Lord had nothing to do with them, man. He didn't care, love, uh, anything about those Edomites, man. All these heathen, man. And they're soon going to know the Lord is only, he's only and only love, ever loved the Israelites, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. Obadiah 1 and 10, it says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. See that? Shame is going to cover Esau Edom, man, and these heathens, man. But especially Esau Edom. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So the shame is going to be on Esau Edom, man. The shame of killing us and, and being basically an a, a adversary to us. Is going to be a shame to Esau Edom, man. This is dropping down to verse 18. It says, The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, man. And let me get this in another translation. Let me finish it up and get another translation. Because stubble, quick Google definition, stubble is what? I should know it, but you know, it's good to just. It says, the cut stalks of grain plants left sticking out of the ground after the grain is harvest. It says short staff, short stiff hairs growing on a part of, of the body that has not been shaved for the while, especially a man's face on a man's face so stubble you're gonna be like stubble man cut down mold down man burnt up because those stocks it's easy to burn man it says and they shall kindle in them and devour them see that the northern and southern kingdom are going to devour the edomites man and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh Shem Yahushua hath spoken. See, 
This is the Lord speaking this, man. New Living Translation, it says, for the people, it's like it, the people of Israel will be a raging fire and Edom is the field of dry stubble. See that? The stubble is what is easy to burn, man. Huh. See, the people of Israel will be a raging fire. And, and Jacob, when they rise Jacob, man, he's going he to mow down a lot of these Edomites, man. He's he's gonna get he's gonna get a lot of these Edomites, man. But the point is, man, he's gonna be Obadiah, like the apostle say. Apostle Tahar say Obadiah one eighteen. <laughs> it's just funny, man, when you read the scripture, but it it's just it's just like a it's like a slicing point now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're gonna be Obadiah one eighteen, man. <laughs> That's like a slicing point, man. Cause it's 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 plain, man. Let me get it, let me get it. New Levitt translation, it says, the people of, of Israel will be a raging fire and Edom a field of dry stubble. And you know what stubble is. It says, the descendants of Joseph will be a flame roaring across the field, devouring everything. There will be no survivors of e in Edom. I, Yahweh Shem Yahweh have spoken. So the Lord has made Esau to be a stubble, man, to be mowed down, to be burnt up, man. And this is the Lord's will for Esau to be destroyed, man. Good News Translation says the people of Jacob and of Joseph, the northern and southern kingdoms, will be like fire. They will destroy the people of Esau. Woo! As fire burns stubble, no descendant of Esau will survive. Ah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has spoken. The Lord has spoken this, man. And it, you can't go around and you can't save one Edomite, none of that, man. This is the Lord's will, man. And the Lord is bound by his word. So it's going to happen, man. This man is finished, man. For all the things he's done to us, he's going to be destroyed forever. And he cannot repent from what he did, man. He took it too, he took it too far, man. Esau took it too far. He took it too far, man. Now you have to suffer the consequences of what you've done, man. For your violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you. And that's as simple as plain. It's, it's, that, is as that is simple and plain as anybody can possibly put it, man. Even if even if you, even if you Israelites don't want Esau to be judged by the Lord, man, you have no choice, man. This is uh, Psalms one hundred and nine and twenty six. It says, "Help me, O Yahweh, by shame, I'll shine my power. O save me according to Thy mercy, that they." may know that this is the hand that thou, O Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, have done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed. See that? Let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame. And that's what's going to happen, man. They didn't know this was going to come. This, they didn't know this was going to happen, man, that they will be clothed with shame for killing you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. And let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle, man. So they're going to be covered with this, man. Those, those missiles are going to be shot over here to judge them because of what they did to Zion, man. The holy people, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. The Lord loves you, man. This is what he's going to judge our, our enemies, our oppressors, for what they've done to us, man. I will greatly praise Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor. That is plain, man. Who, who is the poor? You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. 
for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul, man. That's plain, man. Man, that's plain. New Living Translation, it says, For he stands beside the needy, ready to save them from those who condemn them. He's ready to save us, man. And he's going to save us. You have to believe, man. You have to repent to the Lord, man. And we don't know how long this internet is going to last, man. Or this, 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 uh, this, um, going, going on the highways and byways and, and make it less. We don't know how long it's going to last, man. But through the spirit, some major is coming, man. That is going to change the face of the earth. Just like 911, just like the, the, the sickness, the illness, man. So you better get this information, this wisdom, not as understanding. Now, good news translation says, because he defends the poor and saves them from those who condemn them to death. Who condemns us to death, man? Esau, man. So we have a power, man. And you have to believe in that power, man. Because that's the only power that it is, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. The only saving power. This is uh, Ezekiel uh, 25. And uh, I just want to get the point, man. Because Jake going to get his lick back too, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now and in the kingdom. This is uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. It says... Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. See that? This is what they did to us. Therefore, thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and, and they of D Dan shall fall by the sword, man. See that? They finna fall by the sword, man. The judgment, these, these missiles, these arrows, man. These modern day arrows, man. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. See that? So Jake gonna get his lick back, man. Esau ain't just going to just, uh, just get put away and, and get it, skate away without judgment of us, man. So the Lord is going to get us, uh, let us get our payback, man. We're going to get our licks back, man. And this is the Lord's, this is the Lord's saying, man. This is the Lord's will, man. And I will lay my vengeance. See that? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Whew. By the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. See that? So you can't get mad as the Lord, man. And no matter if somebody can do something to you, man, you can't get as mad as the Lord, man. Just, just think of what the Lord did to us, man. Put us in captivity. Judge us, man. And slavery was brutal, man. So the Lord said, this is his will, man. That we shall, I, will, I shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance. See that? The Lord said they're going to know my vengeance. Said Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power, man. So Esau is thinking, well, we doing this to them. We can do this. We plotting against them. We killing them and, and they can't do nothing. And we got guns. We got this and that. But the time is coming to an end, man. <laughs> With the, uh, the saying go, um, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. So that time is coming, man. The roles are going to be reversed, and we're gonna we're gonna become the hunters, man. We the prey now, but we're soon to become the hunters, man. And Esau is going to forever remember that he was under us, man. He was a natural born servant. And the Lord was with us the entire time. This is uh, Ezekiel 
35 and just start at verse 11. It says, Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh power, I will even do according to, to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou has used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them. See that? The Lord is making himself known among us, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh When I judge thee, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and that I have heard all thy blasphemy, blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the Mount of Israel. See that? The Lord know everything Esau has done to us, man, and everything he's plotting to do against us, man. The Lord is just waiting for that time. He's going to judge them, and they're just going to be <laughs> never, they're never going to rule again, man. They're never going to come up out of this judgment that's coming upon them, man. So the Lord has heard the, the, the blasphemies that they spoke against the mountain of Israel, the mountains of Israel, man, saying they are laid desolate. They are gone. It's like they are given to us to consume. And that's how they feel, man. That's how they feel, man. They treat us less than nothing. They act like we're less than nothing. We're not smart. We, 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 we're not protected. You, you get gunned down in the street if you have a weapon. You, um... You you are uh, 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 um, the, the what do you say last last hired first fire last hired, so the Lord is is is, is going <laughs> to change all of that man, and we have to be patient in this in this in, in the Lord's will man. Verse thirteen it says, um, yeah yeah yeah, so because basically the scriptures is playing man, they feel like we are giving to them to consume man. Thirteen it says thus. With your mouth, ye have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. See that? And that's what Esau has done, man. They mocking the Lord, man. They're mocking the Lord by, by putting us to death, man. Killing us, man, because we're the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Thus said Yahweh Bashem Yahushua power, when the whole earth rejoiceth. I will make thee desolate. See that? When everybody is, is happy in the rulership of their lands, Esau is going to be in slavery, man. They're going to be in captivity. Just like when we were the 4th of July, which Jake shouldn't be celebrating anyway, we was in slavery when he uh, when Esau got his independence from what is it, Great Britain. We was We was in captivity, man. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh power, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. See that? Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do me, man, every single one of them, man, even all of it. And they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. So they're going to know the wrath of the Lord very, very soon, man. They're going to know this is the wrath of the Lord, man. And it's coming, man. And no one is going to stop it, man. Esau Edom is finished. Shalom.